Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Blooming Celeb. I am back with another lit video and I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So guys, in today's video, we're going to discuss all of Kanye West's recently deleted Instagram posts. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. Keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. Kanye has taken to Instagram recently and said derogatory things about Kim and her new boyfriend, Saturday Night Live's Pete Davidson. Although Kanye has deleted most of the posts that attack Pete and Kim, he has not changed his behavior and is still insisting that he will win Kim back. After being approached by Kim, Kanye says he has taken accountability for putting Kim and Pete's safety at risk with his posts. But despite his efforts to clean his Instagram slate, permanent damage has been done to both his relationship with Kim and his reputation. In no particular order, these are Kanye's now-deleted posts. 5. Kanye West thanked failing pundit Candace Owens my daughter is on TikTok without my consent was the opening line of Kanye's plea to the internet for advice regarding how he should approach his disapproval of Northwest's TikTok. Then West, who has been both a Trump supporter and a Trump competitor, posted a thank you to struggling right-wing pundit and fellow Trumper Candace Owens. He thanked her for agreeing with him that no 8-year-old needs social media. Choosing to ally with Owens is one of Kanye's riskiest movies, as Owens, like Kanye, has fallen heavily out of public favor, and it will not likely swoon Kim as she is a vocal Democrat. Owens is closely associated with disgraced former President Donald Trump, who left the presidency with a record-breakingly low approval ratings and public ire after he attempted to overthrow the 2020 election on January 6, 2021. Kanye could have chosen a much better, less alienating ally in his quest to win back Kim. 4. Kanye West Shared Private Messages with Kim Kardashian's Relatives Kanye shared screenshots of several private messages to reveal what is going on between him and Kim. In a text exchange between him and one of Kim's cousins, who was asking Kanye for stock tips, the two allegedly agreed that Northwest is too young to be on social media. Her cousins are entitled to their opinion, but the fact that one of them agrees with Kanye does not mean Kim is obliged to delete the account in any way. What Kanye thought this would accomplish will forever be a mystery. 3. Kanye West called Pete Davidson gay and said Pete has AIDS. The most notorious and pathetic thing Kanye has done in social media lately has been to smear and intimidate Pete Davidson. Kanye has given Pete childish nicknames, Skeet, posted untrue stories about Pete's previous relationship with Ariana Grande, and in the most juvenile of attempts to win Kim back, he alleged that Pete Davidson was gay. Even if that were true, which it isn't, someone should tell Kanye that there is nothing wrong with being a member of the LGBTQA plus community unless you're a bigot. Kanye even went as far to say that Pete Davidson had AIDS, effectively belittling an epidemic that has killed 700,000 Americans. Not cool. Number 2. Kanye West Shared Private Conversations with Pete Davidson you will never meet my kids was Kanye's public response to Pete Davidson's private message that expressed nothing but the utmost sincerity. Davidson said he does not want to be a cause of division, that he does not want to keep Kanye from his kids, and that he hopes to meet them one day. Kanye responded by sharing a screenshot of Davidson with Machine Gun Kelly goofing around in their underwear with the above-mentioned caption. Number 1. Kanye West deleted all but two posts about Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. After Kim publicly and privately chastised Kanye for putting Pete's safety at risk and for harassing her, Kanye deleted all but two posts about Kim, their family, and Pete. But it might be too little too late. Kanye has burned several bridges. His new girlfriend Julia Fox dumped him, artists are refusing to work with him ever again, and after trying to bribe SNL cast member Michael Che into not working with Davidson, Che not only refused but producer Lorne Michaels also banned Kanye from SNL. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can as that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video.